half of those children who are born at sickle cell don't make it into their 50 years of life. There are around 300, 305,000 children born every year with their full sickle cell disease. And that means then there are many more who have a trait. My name is Dr. Gregory Ganda. I'm the County Executive Committee member for Medical Services, Public Health and Sanitation in Kisumu, back at home in Kenya. About 45% of people in Sub-Saharan Africa are carriers of the sickle cell trait, making it the most prevalent genetic disease in the continent, with estimates suggesting that 50 to 90% of affected children die before their fifth birthday. Some of the things that you say that we have high child mortality, many times people don't know why they've died. It's actually sickle cell. I lost a sister before I was born. At the age of eight months, I was diagnosed by sickle cell disease. Uh, the difference between my staff and the sister we lost is I was born in town and her, she was born in the rural areas. I am a fifth generation mother in my family to have a child with sickle cell. I've been shocked by how little we in America knew uh, about what happened to children who were born around the world particularly in the smaller villages of Kenya. Sickle cells prevent blood and oxygen getting to the organs. It's most common in African Americans due to sickle cell being an evolutionary trait that helps protect them from malaria. In Africa, data shows that 50 to 90% of children born with sickle cell disease die before they reach their fifth birthday. However, with proper screening and medication, children with sickle cell disease can live longer. So when my daughter was diagnosed, I kept waiting for science uh, to get to the point where they were going to, as my mother said, fix it. The World Health Organization has been working with the African government to increase awareness and improve care for SCD patients. We have made an effort to improve the quality of care by incorporating sickle cell disease into our national health policies. We are trying to see how we can improve the life of these people with sickle cell because sickle cell is treatable. The big thing about it is that they don't have access to medications. Uh, some of the medications are huge, 500 milligrams. They can't divide it for a small child. Getting the pediatric formulations has been a problem for hydroxyurea. There's a medicine called hydroxyurea which helps to increase the, the type of hemoglobin which doesn't sickle. We have taken this very seriously and I've come here to also underpin the government of Kenya's desire to achieve universal health care and to make sure that nobody is left behind. I am delighted to join you during this occasion for the launch of the first pediatric formulation of hydroxyurea developed by Unigen for treatment of sickle cell disease. It's very sad to learn that kids die before age of five because they don't have treatment option for sickle cell anemia. So Unigen as a company, we have invested in innovation. We have invested heavily in research and development. Most of areas in uh, African countries, especially up country, they don't have access to the refrigerators, to keep their medication. So we had to engineer a formulation which can withstand all the challenges, which comes with lack of refrigerators in these places. What we decided to do is a dispersible tablet. The product that we developed is uh, dissolvable. You put water on a spoon, uh, put the drug there, and in less than 30 seconds, it disintegrates in powder, and then you can just dose into the pediatric patient. Why this is important is because this formulation is made to dissolve easily, and so it makes it easier to give the small child the amount of dose that is required for them. So you can break the tablet, you can put it in water, and then you just give the exact dose that you require. We have performed uh, stability studies where we have looked at different environmental conditions, uh, making sure that this product once is exposed to very high relative humidities, when exposed to very high temperatures, or the opposite, it still maintains its integrity. And it's very easy to transport it. You can 
transport it to any area of the country and it will be stable. Quality control is everything. We manufacture under FDA regulations. We manufacture according to current good manufacturing practices. So the environment in which this happens is highly, highly controlled. We want to get into as many markets in Africa as possible because that is where kids are dying from sickle cell anemia. Very simple treatment, just need to make it accessible to them. The greatest challenge is uh, funding, uh, increase the workforce. We have a lot of work which needs to be done, but uh, our resources are limited when we are pushing uh, the products into the market. We want to be the first to order this formulation back at home. Uh, the governor just three days ago launched a new sickle cell treatment center in Kisumu called Victoria and that's going to be our first hub. We want to build up this hub so that uh, everybody knows that if you walk into this place you can always get treatment for sickle cell. This is a significant moment for us as many are aware of the profound impact sickle cell disease has on our region. It deeply affects families physically, emotionally and financially. With the right care people can live full meaningful lives. It's going to make a very big difference to many people and it also gives us a sense of pride that out of the many other things that we do I have been diverted for a very good cause to be part of this historic moment. I want to use uh, one word, it would be excellence because we have uh, brought together innovation greatest scientists into the team and also cooperation uh, with these institutions. Our workforce is very diverse, but we also have a good representation of uh, our Kenyan colleagues. They understand the situation in Africa. They have gone through institutions there and also have gone to school over here. So they understand our mission very, very well. They work extra hard to make an impact in the patients from that part of the world. The Unigen has a lot of Kenyan blood in it. Uh, you can see the passion that these people have. And you can see they're not just doing it just for the sake of it, but they're doing it to have an impact back at home. My name is Erica Sterator. I am the Vice President of the WPU Innovation Corporation as well as corporate real estate for WB Medicine here in Morgantown, West Virginia. I really am excited because this is one of the first partnerships that we have with the university and, and an industry partner. The opportunity is limitless from research to improving health outcomes to employment and jobs. We as the Innovation Corporation are really excited to support Unigen on their journey to manufacture hydroxyurea uh, here in West Virginia at the Morgantown facility. We are very, very thankful to West Virginia University Innovation Corporation. Since it was FDA approved, the systems were in place. It really cut the time required to bring this medication to market. We believe that uh, the kids are going uh, to benefit from this medication. We know we are going to save lives and we couldn't do it without uh, West Virginia University Innovation Corporation. Right now, we are focused on bringing to market medications which will have the most impact in Africa, but also we are working on medications which are going to be registered in the US. We have all these projects in the pipeline which we want to really execute and bring this medication to market. Now I can say we've, there's a lot of research towards sickle cell since 2013, and I'm happy to see people finding cures from bone marrow uh, transplant, from gene therapies, and even just being able to find a sickle cell hydroxyurea syrup for kids. Let me conclude by applauding Unigen for developing the first and most affordable hydroxyurea for the African region, thus taking in addressing the access of African and low-income countries to affordable sickle cell disease treatment. And it is happening here.